dude. Have you watched Wild Wild Country? It's the best. Holy shit. Okay, when you're one or two episodes into that. I'm four episodes in Okay, now. perfect, perfect, perfect. So you can get this. Um, how much of you thinks... Oh, Duncan could start one of these. Mm-hmm. A thousand million right? percent. I went through your head. A thousand. It's all peace and happiness and yeah. fucking wearing the same shit. It's a great. Dude, I was talking... i like, these people seem cool. I was talking to my friend Todd, and he was like, dude, I... I wanted to live I like that. I wanted to join up. <laughs> Two episodes in, you're like, yeah, man. What the fuck? This place I'm in, is awesome. I'll wear red. I'm in. I'll wear red. It was like the first episode of Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> <laughs> the opposite way. It looks I great. I am in. They seem like they're happy. They are happy. <laughs> they're having a good old time. The Duplass brothers made that. Those guys are badass. Yeah. Yeah. That's an amazing documentary. It's fucking it's, great. The story is so insane while I'm watching. I'm like, how the fuck did I not know How about did I this? not know about it? It was so good that I thought it was a work for a while. I was like, I think they might be faking this. Oh, God. So but I, then you see Tom Brokaw talking about it, and you're like, all right, I guess, I guess it's, it happened. I got a friend of mine, and yeah. his girlfriend's parents were in that group. Really? Yeah. And they, wow. still, they still follow that guy's teachings. They still believe in him. The Mogwai? Osho. Is that Osho. his name? Osho was How his do you name. say his name? What was his name? The Mogwai? He, no, it wasn't Mogwai. That's Gremlins. There's a picture that I had of him that I put up on my uh, Instagram page of him p- holding this white guy's head, and this guy's like coming in his pants. Oh it's my one God. of the freakiest pictures. Oh my God. Pull this up, Jamie. I this love is, it. He's just being like, you can have money, you can have nice things. Yeah. <laughs> Jam, he had be happy. 22 fucking Rolls Royces. 22 Rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Oh. Look at the guy. The guy's like, oh, I'm I, white. I'm touching you. I'm so white. <laughs> He's touching both of them at the same time. Left hand on the dude, right hand on the girl. He's like transmitting through them, through them. giving them orgasms. Look at him. He's like, oh. Oh, my God. They believed in it, man. Dude, and I gotta, they were all I fucking. Piss, I go piss. ahead. Go ahead and piss. The crazy. Have you seen oh. any of this, Jamie? I think I turned it on and fell asleep. And what? How dare come back. you? You believe that shit? <laughs> dude, it's fucking amazing, man. I'm, I'm on episode four now, and I don't want to give anything away. Uh, in, in terms of like how it goes down, but it literally keeps ramping up and getting more and more fucking insane. I, I've, I'm like what Ari said. I can't believe I didn't hear about this. How do we know about Jonestown? Everybody knows don't drink the Kool-Aid. Where was this? This is in Oregon, outside of Antelope, Oregon. Dude, I mean, I don't want to, I can't give too much away, but these people bought a town. They bought the whole town. <laughs> they got a police force. Dude, they had their own police force. What are the odds that something like that is going on now? It's Probably super likely. low. It's super low because what this is is they what the government had stepped in and realized that there's some shenanigans going on, and they were essentially there was no separation of church and state because the church was the state, right? They they had a government and police force that was run by the church. They called it the peace force, and the whole cult basically ran the town except for a few diehards who didn't want to give their houses up. So there were some folks who had been living in Antelope their whole life. They didn't give their houses up, and they're telling the story. And they did not care for it. <laughs> it's fucking amazing, man. Oh, I'm so what jealous about, of you of having not seen the whole what thing. What about yet? that sex cult? And this New is York. another one, right? This is a different one. It's the one with the actress that got yeah. in trouble. So that's is that a similar type cult thing? What is the deal with that actress? I don't know. Do you know what I mean? She, did she really recruit people knowing it was a sex cult? I don't know if that's the same thing. I don't, as many people. I don't know much about this sex cult thing with that actress lady. That seems other like than I'm not getting the whole story. She was branding. They were branding people. But she was... She was a part of it. And she was recruiting people into getting... Allegedly. This is what they're charging her with. I feel right? like there's more to this story than I, I can tell. <sighs> I don't know, man. But it's weird that people are so susceptible to cults and that we protect people from cults but don't protect people from religions. It's the same shit. The only difference is this one guy is banging all these people, and we got to stop that. Boils under that a lot. We don't care for the behavior. Crimes. There was sex crimes. There was like teen uh, trafficking, uh, and there was there was there was illegal things right. that were done in this particular one. From what I've read, I don't know too much about it. But then when you go to that Osho guy, and that all, all those seemed folks, legal. It, it seemed, except for church and state. See, the thing is, the church started running the police force. Oh right. Remember, and they had these guys walking around with fucking you know, semi-automatic rifles and high-powered machine guns and shit. It was very different. It was like, okay, you've got a military force that's guarding this religious leader. It boils down to that. Yeah. So they had these police people at the compound, in the hallways with machine guns. These guys are playing assassin. 
And they they are the police force. They're not they're not a private exactly. Uh, uh, what's it called group? Exactly. Dude, I don't want to give any more away. You I just want just everybody watch it. to everybody watch, watch it. it. And by it's the way, great. everything I've said is not going to take anything away from watch it. Watch it with it's... your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your wife Fuck. or whatever. Watch it with your neighbor. Watch it with somebody together. Let's just like find somebody and be like, let's watch it one episode every two days. Let's talk about it. Oh, I, it's so fun. I think an independent version of that is in little blips. What goes on with Burning Man? Like this wow. independent little <laughs> blip of escape of norms of regular society and these people get there, they wear fucking gas masks and fuck each other and go crazy and do cartwheels in the dirt and they hang out together for having days on time. end, having a great time. And they realize that people, and at least in small bursts, can establish these communities, set up all this temporary art, have a great time and everybody's like, you know, really like like-minded in yeah. a lot of ways, yeah. hanging out in this one place. Well, if that's, if people want that, the only difference between that and like a full-time community is that you would have to figure out a way to get everybody to get along forever. Well, it could, wouldn't, yeah. wouldn't just be a few days. You'd have to like raise kids together, get your food together. Do, but, get the food, have all the jobs you have. Kibbutz is similar to that. Yeah, but if you tried to do that today, they would stop you. Or at least it would become a real issue. Like say if you decided, you and Duncan got together, and you two decided to buy 700 acres in Listen, Oregon. Yeah. And you found some place you could all afford. You did a Kickstarter, and you guys set up a community out there. You grew your own food. You had your own well, like and a every, dream. nobody could be married, and you could fuck anybody you want. Oh. This is how we live in. Okay, that's how we live in. And then you just you just ran, and you like real loosely based rules. Hey, when you eat something, clean up your mess. Giant mess halls filled with people. Yeah. People have this, these houses all over this fucking ranch, and you you basically established a village. Wow. You get, you just can't go too far. Yeah, but then you go well, too how far would you when you start getting money from them. Mm -hmm. Then they how would you deal worrying. with it when someone breaks the real law? Like there's a rape or a murder, you'd have to be like, now we need to call in. Yeah, you have to call real the real cops. cops. The only way to keep it's it so on fine, the, so do that. Yeah, you'd have to keep it legit. Yeah, like you'd have to still be under the jurisdiction. You'd have to make friends with the local sheriffs. Mm -hmm. That's what you'd off. have to do. Yeah, just yeah. like we're not we don't mean any harm, but when yeah. we when we need you, when something happens, yeah. we'll call you. But yeah, otherwise we're not going to need you much. Yeah, we're just up here banging each other. Holla. Yeah. Just, I think. Just banging each other like crazy. It's getting fucking wild up here, son. Yeah. That's what we do. It's legal, right? It's still yeah. legal to fuck in America if I pay taxes. Yeah. So my 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 best buddy's wife can yeah. suck on my ball while I'm ass fucking him. Yeah, that's, that's what okay? they like. Okay. They're cool. into that. Cool. She likes to suck ball right next to the booty hole. <laughs> I think uh, you would run into problems. People would decide that you shouldn't be living like that. They People don't get like angry. You. People yeah. do that so with everything. Basically. It's with everything. You're not living the way I live, yeah. so I'm not going to let anyone be into your shit. Yeah, but it's always like one dude, right? That's running things and fucking oh, and, everybody. Oh, I'm one of those. Like yeah. these compounds, the these main sex guy. cults. There's always like a main guy who fucks everybody, fucks everybody's wife. He's like, fuck everybody you want, but you probably want to fuck me because I'm the main dude. The only way to do it, honestly, is to do it Burning Man style. This is my point: is that Burning Man style would be no leader. No leader. Yeah, no leader. So like-minded people, no leader, and you'd have to figure, but the problem is charismatic people could co-opt that. You'd have these meetings, one person takes over, like, what we need here is some organization. Next thing you know, he's the king. Yeah. You know, that's how people do. We're monkeys. Yeah. If we could avoid you're, that, you're, though. You crave leadership. Yeah. Yeah. We'd have to somehow or another find a way to not manipulate the way the people perceive The kibbutzes are pretty close. Laws. Are they? Yeah. They're not the sex cults, but they are like, everyone has a job. We're all working for, nobody makes money here. Everybody makes 20 bucks a week, whatever it is. You know, room and board is paid for. And that makes people feel really good. Yeah, you're, you're all doing thing. an equal part. Yeah. You, one guy could be running the accounting for the thing. One guy could be, you know, f taking eggs. You know, one person takes care of the nursery of the kids. But like everyone joins in.